The architecture originally looked something like this. We basically had one machine that we were renting from this company. I'm not even gonna mention their name, they're so bad. I try to only mention companies I like. <laughs> but we were renting one machine, and this basically ran this. And this was all of Reddit. We were also running Postgres on this machine, and that was it. We didn't have any fancy caching. I just used in-memory hash tables. The database had a fairly guessable structure. We had a table for links. We had a table for votes. We had a table for users. It may have been it to begin with. There wasn't a whole lot to Reddit. We didn't have any comments for a long while. And the links and votes tables were basically kind of as I represented them in this lecture. These had things like score, title, URL. Vote basically had a link ID, a direction. User had a name and a password. Notice I didn't say password hash. I actually stored the password and told you that story of how I got in trouble as a result of doing that. We actually did a lot of joints. Now this lasted a probably about first six months or so. After six months, we hired a couple guys. Well, we kind of merged our company with another company called Infogami, and that brought us another engineer named Aaron Swartz. And we hired Chris Slow, who was doing a PhD at the time. So the four of us, me, Alexis, Aaron, and Chris, worked on Reddit then. And the first change that Aaron and I made together was we rewrote Reddit from Lisp to Python. And then, at about the same time, we pulled the database out of that one machine and put it on a second machine. And so now we had two machines with this hosting company, our app server and our DB. And the switch from Lisp to Python was kind of performance agnostic. Lisp is a faster language, but our rewrite of Python was better. So the code actually ran at about the same speed. Going from one machine to two machines gave us something on the order of 4x speed improvement. Remember how I talked in the last lecture about separation of services? Separating our app server from our database gave us a tremendous speed improvement because these two pieces of software run totally different, use computers in a totally different way. That was the first architecture change we made. I think we upgraded this machine once or twice to like a, a, a more beefy machine. At the time, we were still plagued by downtime. Whether it was our Lisp program or a Python program, it would occasionally just crash. And we'd have to get notified. More often, I'd just get called. I would like check the site or somebody would call me to tell me the site was down and I'd bring it back up. There's so many easy ways to avoid this scenario. It makes me cringe when I think about how much time and stress I spent on not knowing whether our website was running. The way we do it now is we use a piece of software called Supervise, which we integrated shortly thereafter. That basically what Supervise does is it watches a program. It, it runs a program, and if that program crashes, it restarts it. And that's a really nice uh, setup to have. And we actually got to the point where we'd run two Python programs on one machine, and then we had a little mini load balancer kind of running on that machine as well that would send traffic to both of these Pythons. And if one of them died, Supervise would bring it back up. And so unless the whole machine died, luckily never actually happened to us, um, the website would stay running. At the time, we still only had one database machine. We were very lucky. We were very lucky that neither of the, these machines ever died. Because if we lost this machine, the website would have been down until we could get a new one. And our hosting provider was very slow. It would have been very difficult. And if we had lost this one, our database machine, we would have lost the data, like forever. We weren't doing good backups back then. It was really fortunate that Reddit turned into a, a popular thing and it's really cool that we still have those archived and as a result of luck that we didn't lose those. Because you will lose machines. Machines die all the time. It's just kind of a fact of life. I mean, you're running these machines around the clock, high load, hard disk can fail, memory can fail. You know, there's lots of things that can go wrong if you use a machine constantly at high load.